Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me. It means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to use four powerful decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to check in with the connection, what's going on between you. We're going to see what the energy is around you, the Divine Feminine and your Divine Masculine. But what's powerful today is the Learn Tarot series is really in sync right now with what's going on and we're doing the nine of cups today and we all know this is the wish card this is the universe saying to you be patient have faith and trust because your dreams are coming true and i'm going to talk more about this later in the dm to the f reading so today i'm going to use the oracle of the seven energies we're going to bring in the magic of unicorns to bring in some power we're going to bring in the star seeds oracle because we all know that we are walking in this world and we are on this earth but we're not of it and i'm going to bring in the magic of crystals to bring in some real healing power so thank you angels what's the energy around the connection today what's the energy around the connection today wow okay i'm going to take them the energy around the divine feminine today the energy around the divine feminines today and the energy please around the divine masculine the energy around the divine masculine there we go let's have a see then what's going on here so these are definitely for the journey there's not that many on the floor whenever they jump out like that we think oh too many cards but always the right cards the energy around the connection please angels what do we need to know the energy around the divine feminines and the energy around the divine masculine see how they jump out super powerful what energy is around the connection today please angels what do we need to know what do we need to know? There we go. And the energy around the Divine Feminines. They are giving me a lot of heat today. So again, the Kundalini's rising. Heat is connected with fire energy action, making changes and moving towards you. And the energy around the Masculine. What do we need to know for the Divine Feminines today, please, angels? There we go. The energy around the connection. Wow. So the jumping out. And the energy around the Divine Masculine. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? And this will also be any crystals that you can use to bring in some healing today and, you know, really connect you with your twin. And these are the energies around the feminine. So today then, let's start with the divine feminine because you have power. So we've got here a higher view, a love it, a higher view. So we've got the number 41. And four is the angels protecting you and one is that new beginning. So you've been reminded to believe and have faith and have patience in this new beginning which is coming in now. When you look at things with a higher view, with a higher perspective, things make more sense. And this is the owl. So you're being reminded today that you are always gaining wisdom and power on this journey, that you are an intuitive high priestess, you know, that your intuition has power, that you are strong, that you are rising above this situation, that you can handle this situation, whatever that may be. And I'm really feeling this energy around kind of the floor and this is the earth the 3d world you know the root chakra the energy that brings in that healing in the physical reality so this is showing you things that are taking place and moving forward now in the real world you know you may be thinking well i love this journey but i don't like it so much in the physical world i want to be reunited with my twin i want to have time with them and communicate and love them and the angels understand that and there's a big healing occurring right now in the world not just by what's going on in the world because we're moving towards a brand new beginning we're moving to towards a new age and i feel there's so much going on in the mind today it's hard sometimes to communicate it because you think all these things but sometimes you can't find the words and that's exactly what the masculines go through and that's why they seem to be misunderstood. And what I'm going to be talking about in the DM to the F reads, I'm just going to remind everyone about why we need to be patient and to have compassion. Because when the masculines are pushing you away, that's the time when they need you the most. They may not act like it, but it's the truth. So we have to have compassion and faith and understanding and see things from a higher point of view. And that's why the owl is reminding you to look at things from each side, to not just have that kind of one-way vision, 
to look at it from always because the owl turns their head all the way around and in the darkness we grow you know in those dark times in those dark moments we grow so much and we raise our vibration through those moments that's what we do as divine feminines it's who we are so i'm also seeing the eagle so i'm seeing this bird as a cross between an owl and a bird of prey an eagle a hawk seeing it from a new perspective and the angels are helping you to do that because there are changes taking place in the physical world and we've got the power of purpose and this is the number 18 a new beginning coming into your life that's bringing plenty of opportunity and abundance and power to make your dreams come true remember we've got that nine of cups energy today so this is the angel saying you're working not only towards your union and your relationship but towards your purpose so you're also being reminded that everything you go through on this journey has purpose there's a reason for everything that happens the good things and what we perceive to be the bad things it grows our soul it teaches us lessons and skills and tools that we take into the future that help our purpose which means we can have that compassion for others we can empathize and be sensitive to others because we've been through it ourselves we realize the pain of separation and what it can cost us but what we gain through it too because separation is always preparation that there's magic coming in and i'm seeing this like the wheel of fortune in the tarot fate destiny things happening for a reason have faith in the universe have faith that a new opportunity is on the horizon in the physical world and that great change is coming in we've got oneness so when you remember that you are one with all things including your twin you feel at peace and you feel stable and secure no matter what's going on the number 42 angels protecting your connection that's why we get the rainbow sometimes when the masculines pull away from you they're doing it to protect you to protect themselves and you from any lower energy from any moodiness they may be in or any struggle so that you keep your high vibe and focus on light it says look for the common humanity invoke lemurian light and we all know we have that connection because we know we are you know in this world but not of it but we also know that we've had lives before and we're connected with so much more than just the physical world we are telepathic beings we are connected with source we are liquid love and when we understand that we know that separation is illusion and anything we feel is missing in our life is illusion because we are whole now and this is wholeness and that really resonates with the divine feminine reading today this wholeness energy that you are whole and complete regardless of the outside world we've got the violet flame and this is saint germain bringing in this power and this energy and that's why you may be feeling heat today too connected with the power of the kundalini that rises between the two of you in connection with source when you go into the merkaba and you feel that light energy and you connect with your light body and that light vehicle it says invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame and transmute all that is not love so we transmute all that is not love all that fear all that struggle all that doubt all that pain all the resentment the guilt the blame the shame we release that to heaven and it gets transmuted into love because all the lessons and all the things we experience and go through always lead back to love everything we experience even when we lose a loved one it leads back to love it helps us to expand and open our heart and to carry that love around with us everywhere we go because we are one with all things and nobody really ever dies they continue in a different way so this is saying to you you and your masculine are one and when you connect with that oneness you feel it you invoke it so you're being reminded to invoke the power that comes from you your previous lifetimes and your connection with source asking for help talking to the angels remembering that you are not alone and that you have universal power within you the universal power of atlantis of lemuria of the violet flame of your connection with angels and guides and it takes courage to be a divine family it takes courage to get up every day and continue 
and to fight for this love and to fight for who you are. But you have the armor of God on you and in you and protecting you. It says live your life fearlessly with courage, strength and determination. And remember, if you feel you want to give up, remember what the water tiger is saying to you in 2022. Don't give up. Be confident, be strong, be determined and be courageous. And remember who you are. You're given all the power from God. And we've got Sapphire. You have the power and strength, but judge wisely. You have the power. You have the strength. So judge wisely. Take your time. There's no need to rush. See things from a higher perspective, a higher point of view. Look at the bigger picture. Don't judge anyone, especially if you don't understand what they're going through. The masculines are misunderstood. They're misunderstood and sometimes angry. And we have to release that energy. And sapphire is power. I'm also feeling that maybe someone is wearing a sapphire ring right now. Or you have a vision of the ring that you will wear from your masculine is a sapphire ring. And that's an extra sign that you're moving together. That your dreams are coming true. We've got angel light. Now this is one of my favourite crystals. Okay, some people call this celestite. It says protect the environment and love mother nature. So if you have some angel light around you, and I've got a more smooth piece here, you know, if you have some angel light around you, it connects you with the power of who you are now in this lifetime. So it reminds you that you have that link with heaven, but also that link with the earth because your 5D and 3D self integrate. You know, your ego and higher self can integrate. And the higher self always takes precedence when you're in your thoughts which means you choose your thoughts, you choose wisely and love mother nature, spending time in nature, that's why it's there. When we're out in nature and outdoors, we're the closest to God, the creator heaven as we'll ever be. That's why we always feel calm when we're out in nature, even in stormy weather or rain, we feel calm, we feel cleansed and you are here to protect the environment that you were in. And the masculines, when they stay away from you, if they're ghosting you, or even sometimes blocking you, or you're in separation, are actually protecting you from their own environment. Could be a karmic situation that's very toxic, and they're protecting you from that. Or they're protecting you from themselves when they're angry and in fear, and bringing in low vibration. We've got Dumaterite. Doom and he says, overcome your hardships and find solutions to life's problems. And that's what we do very well as a divine feminine. We rise above the 3D world and we see through the illusion. And we use our third eye to understand and to feel. We feel our way through life's problems and hardships to find the solutions we need. And the solutions come when we calm our mind. We have problems when our mind is overwhelmed. That's why the masculines take time to process because their minds can be overwhelmed. And our minds can sometimes be overwhelmed, but we work through it a lot quicker because we know that to clear our mind of that confusion and that craziness, we have to go within and breathe and connect with source and remember who we are. And then we become part of the solution instead of creating or adding to the problem. We've got fluorite. It says protect and purify, relieve all your tensions and anxieties. So relieve all your tensions today and anxieties by giving it to God, by asking for help, by talking to the angels. And then you realize that you are safe and protected and you feel cleansed. You feel purified, you feel relieved and calm energy flows in. And we've got Malachite, another one of my favorites I keep on the table here. Turn over a new leaf and change maybe on the horizon. So in other words, we're in this energy now of May and it mentions May. So on the horizon is a new beginning, change and turning over a new leaf, which means realizing new leaves are growing around you. So think about the tree that loses all its leaves in the fall and then gains new ones back in the springtime. And this is where we are now, new leaves, power, magic, 
Turning over a new leaf means starting a fresh page. They're giving me fear. So release any fear around what that new chapter will bring because it's going to be much better than you can even envision. And this is a new beginning, a new start in your life and in your future with your twin. They're giving me that block. So maybe you're thinking, is that new chapter going to involve communication? Well, that new chapter is going to bring your dreams in that are going to come true. And you're being reminded of that today. Release the burden, trust the love. Healing the heart. So for the masculine, they are healing their heart so they can communicate and express themselves from the heart. And, you know, this is also reminding me that we're moving into the Ten of Cups energy after this. And everything is relatable. And so many of you have been messaging me saying, I've received that communication. I was moving on and he turned back up and he wants to get to know me again. Why? Because you've surrendered. Some of you have been coming into union. We've had a few of those on the comments, in the comments over the last few days. So trust in this. The masculines are going through a heart chakra activation, a heart healing. That's why you may be having heart jumping or palpitations or pain because you're feeling all of this. And we've got the uncharted sea because the masculines are moving into the unknown. But they are becoming master sailors of their life and their destiny, taking control, feeling all the emotion. Having those highs, lows, ups and downs and the Rosie's kiss. This is about that kiss that you guys share that's powerful. Once they kiss you, there's no going back because it's felt everywhere. Body, mind, heart and soul. You turn them on. And the Rose is not only the promise of this apology coming in and forgiveness and healing. It's about this transformation they are going through right now. And every Rose has its thorns. So to get the beauty of the rose, we have to put up sometimes with the thorns. And those thorns get removed as the rose is plucked and put in the right place. And that's what the masculines are doing right now. They're putting things into the place. We've got willing release. So the masculines are willing to release. And we've got this gorgeous butterfly energy. Again, angel protection for their spiritual path and journey. And if you want to connect with the numbers, we've got 23. So where are we right now? 2022, moving towards 2023. The masculines connect very powerfully with the number three. Ascended masters around them, ancestors around them, reminding them to have faith. And the masculine is asking you to have faith and to believe and trust in them and in the love you share in this partnership, which is very beautiful. And this is also like three of one's energy where your ship is coming in. 46. Angels protecting the physical world, creating that change. The number nine, spiritual path, spiritual power. The masculines tapping in with who they are and the angels protecting their spiritual journey. Look at this, I've got angel bumps. See how the cards get mirrored. Open your heart. So for the masculine, we've got open your heart and healing the heart. It says, love yourself, dare to be vulnerable. So the masculines now are daring to be vulnerable. And they're doing that by expressing their love, coming forward to you and telling you how they feel. They're being vulnerable by moving into this uncharted water. They, they know, don't know what's going to happen. It's fear of the unknown. Sometimes things get miscommunicated. They say the wrong thing when they mean something else. They run that way when they want to run that way. They run away from you when they want to run towards you. So have compassion and patience with their crazy behaviour. It says, mad, they're giving me the word medical. Okay, it says magical crystal cave. So some of the masculines are going through medical moments right now. They may be going through surgeries or they may be going through moments in their life where they need to look at the physical self and understand from a medical perspective what's going on. So I feel a lot of healing occurring in the heart, in the body, in the mind. So switch on your inner light and bring forward your gifts. Moving into the magical crystal cave, and this is the number 21 they're giving me. So again, since 2021, they've been going through this big shift. And again, we've got that amethyst energy, the violet flame, power, moving the masculines forward. We've got inner alchemy, which really resonates with this. It says inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So the masculines are starting to step more into their power by being in the energy of love. Responding with love, feeling love, accepting your love. And we've got andalusite. Balance yourself in times of insecurity and be stabilised. 
So the masculines are stabilised by the power of your love. When they feel your love, when they connect with you in the other realms, when they call you up, when they communicate with you, they want to bring in balance, remember, and stability. They want to bring it in an equilibrium. So what you give to them, they give back to you. And that's what they do in union. Azurite, enhance your creativity. You have it within you. So the masculines are also feeling all of this creative energy, all of this creative power that the feminines are feeling too. So powerful. So for the journey then, the energy around is we've got bronzite. It says, restore harmony and self-confidence in all you do. So remember what the angels are saying and the water tiger, don't give up and have confidence in all that you do. Have confidence in your creations, have confidence in this love and have confidence in yourself. And we've got leopard delight, allow happiness to guide you through life's choices. So focus on love, not fear. Let love guide you, not fear. Let the way you feel guide you. Not what you're going on in your head, you know, what you're overthinking or worrying about. We've got channel. It says you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. You are a channel. That means your body is a vessel and it channels your love and light to your twin flame, to the world and back to yourself. And you watch channels that help you to understand and grow and connect with that powerful energy. Maybe you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel or you want to channel energy yourself through healing, through cards, through service. This is a sign that you're on the right path and the masculines are doing this too. We've got Gaia. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. So again, that energy of Mother Nature, going outdoors, connecting with the world and feeling the power of love. And connecting with the seasons. As the seasons change, things change. We change. You know, nature doesn't fight against the seasons. It embraces that. And we all go through seasons and changes in our life. It's how we grow. It's how we evolve. And it may feel like the unknown. It may be scary. It may be unknown chartered waters or unknown territory. But we can handle it. And it's time to celebrate celebrate your achievements because you truly are a gift to the universe and you receive gifts from the universe but you are a gift to the universe by being you and shining your light and being in your power so celebrate who you are today and this is also a reason to celebrate reunion dreams coming true union ahead the message is caring community and we have a caring community right here on this channel, we are a family. It says participate and belong and enrich your life. And you're going to be moving into energy where you belong. You and your masculine belong together. And that's the caring community that you're going to create. And you're going to create caring communities when you are together. Like me and George have created caring communities here on this channel and there on his channel. On my channel and his channel, we are one anyway. But we are all one. And this is power. And this is you and your masculine moving towards a new beginning. Towards a new future. Helping others to heal. To create that community in your own life. And that may be with family, friends, or soul family and friends. And we've got the Mahamata energy. It says build your light body and accelerate your ascension. So right now we are accelerating our ascension. And we are building our light body. And that's why we're connecting with the Merkaba today. Because we're moving into a new light, a new way of being. We're integrating power. Our DNA is upgrading. And we're going through changes. So that we can look at this, manifest your dreams. Which again is the energy here of this powerful Nine of Cups. And look what we've got there. Gorgeous rainbow. And we spoke about the rainbow in detail yesterday. And the day before, you know, with that powerful rainbow wick. So that's the energy that came through as we started this week. New beginnings, fresh starts, rainbow energy, unicorns. The masculines knowing your light guides them home and connects them to source. It says, focus on your vision and seek satisfaction and contentment. And look at the number, 22. 
the year we're in now is 2022. So the angels are guiding you to focus on your vision during this year of 2022, to focus your vision on your mission and allow your mission to be being content and satisfied with where you are, with who you are, celebrating your achievements, feeling at peace, feeling ready for the future, but not rushing it. Just allowing things to be, allowing things to breathe, enjoying the moment, living life to the full, doing things you love to do, focusing on that vision, but living in the now. So you have that vision, you know what you want, and that's union, happiness, joy, success, money, all the things you want to create in your life, which are absolutely available to you because you are a spiritual being and you deserve the best of everything. But also knowing and trusting it will all happen in divine timing because your dreams are coming true. And while it's manifesting and being created and molded for you and falling into place, just be, shine, live life, love life and rise above the 3D reality of the fear and the seclusion and the separation and the doubt. Because you know your truth, this is a time for you to shine and be you and feel content and happy and live your life. Because birds of a feather flock together. So you and your twin flame are being guided back together because you are birds of a feather. And right now you are in this caring community who's got your back. You know, we care about each other here. Whether you are a new member of, you know, this community, you've just jumped. They're giving me fear. You know, you've just jumped on, maybe there's a block in communication, you're not understanding what's going on and you've found this video. You're in the right place because not only will you understand through the videos and the support we have here, but you realise you've found where you belong because you're going to feel supported and protected and safe and nurtured and cared about. And sometimes we need that because we feel that we don't get that from our twin until we realise that it was always within us all along. The fact that we feel we haven't got that is illusion. But we gather together to understand and heal so that we help each other through the good times and the bad times. We're there for each other through the good times. We, you know, kind of, we're out each other's best friend. You know, we help each other through those communication issues and the pain and we lead each other forward and we help each other and we guide each other and we keep each other strong. So we help each other through the bad times and we pick each other up through those times and give each other support. But we also really, you know, support the good times too. So we're there through it all on a daily basis and we've got opening to discovery. So be open to discovering new things, to finding new facts and understanding what this journey is, to connect with the universe and to trust the universe too. So if you see the number 2222 or 222, it's universal power. It's the angels connecting you with who you are. Doors opening, discovering new things, going through sacred reverence, the keys to the kingdom. And the keys to the kingdom are here now and your kingdom is here now on this earth. That's why you've come here, to open doors in your life, to create magic in your life, to grow and to become the person that you were born to be. And it's all in divine timing, in this divine matrix. So remember, you create your life the way you want it to be. Are you seeing your day today as beautiful and magical or crazy and weird? Are you seeing your life today as heaven? and magic and power or are you seeing it as hell and cursed and a struggle our perception creates our reality in this divine matrix so see for what it is powerful and growth spirit of gratitude so the more we are grateful and the more we have that attitude of gratitude things multiply in our life and he brings in power and we've got ears wide open ears wide open and we've got that fox there I'm seeing that as a fox anyway so the fox is saying to you what does the fox say listen open your ears wider and you know this could be some kind of cat where you know they've got those long ears I'm actually seeing this like um, um is it a marsupial or you know some kind of kind of 
animal where they've got these huge ears and they're listening and the ears can be like antennas so you're being reminded that your ears are like antennas when they are in tune with your truth so you hear messages in music you hear messages when you overhear conversations you hear things in your mind's eye and feel things you know when i say the angels are saying it's a feeling it's like they're, they're just there in my mind the words the knowledge what to say comes through and we've got the number 33 which again is connected with ascended masters ancients you know this wisdom coming in this knowledge this power knowing that you are safe and to have faith in your journey and to believe so have your ears and your eyes and your mind and your heart open to this love and that's what the masculines are doing too and they give me that song rooftops by jesus culture it says eyes wide open it's like saying ears wide open you're listening you're listening to all the power around you that connects you with source and reminds you of who you are so today know that your journey is unfolding you're not only moving towards a union but you're moving towards a new way of being where you're integrating all the energy within you and inside of you that upgrade your dna and it gets you ready for the next stage of your journey the new leaf the next chapter and what are leaves leaves create books and this is power it's rooted so remember who you are today connect with yourself connect with your twin you don't need to be physically in communication to have communication you don't need to be physically in union to have union but remember your power that your dreams are coming true and that's the energy that's coming through wherever that card's gone whatever i've done with it with the nine of cups you know which says your dreams are coming true have a great day sending you so much love and i'll see you soon